Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Wishing you all the best as always. And on today's video, we're going to focus on how to repost YouTube videos to your Instagram and create awareness to your brand. And if you want to see more videos like this, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and we'll see each other every Tuesday. So who am I? What is my name? My name is Karina Belmonte. I'm a video producer, content creator, and this channel focuses on sharing personal branding tips and content creation tips for entrepreneurs, side hustlers, and creators that want to take their personal brand to that next level. And I'm excited on today's video. But before that, I want to thank so much for this amazing community that's being built. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's go to today's video. Okay guys, so as I was explaining, I want to share with you as easy as possible how you can repost your YouTube videos to your Instagram and create awareness for your brand. Before I dig into these tips, I want to tell you that part of them are focused on video editing and how it can be as easy as possible without the use of apps. Nothing against apps, I'm just a video editor and I created a formula that can be very easy for you just to put it up in your Instagram feed without the hassle of worrying of anything, just creating a template and making it happen constantly for you. Okay, so let's dig in. First of all, before I go in, I'm gonna tell you, it's very important to understand your teaser, to understand what you want to share. So let's go with that first. Three bullet points very fast so you can get it is, if your video is about steps, you can share one of the steps. If you're very new to the YouTube world, you can share the introduction of your YouTube video, which is your name, what your video is about, and they should subscribe. Final one is you can share the inside, which is that juicy part that is going to make people want to know more of your video. Those are the three bullet points before we dig in into this. Okay, so I edit on Premiere Pro. And this space of editing, this explanation can be applied for any type of editing program. It can be for Final Cut, for iMovie. So I wanted to make it as easy as possible. Okay, so first of all, you already selected your teaser. You know from what second to what second you want to share. Great. Now, you're going to go to Sequence Settings in Premiere Pro, and you're going to put the frame size 1080 times 1350. Why? Because this frame size is the most powerful post size that is being used right now on Instagram. When you scroll down and you see those posts that are big, those are the 1080 times 1350. And I want you to use that to put your YouTube video up. Okay, so you selected that. Now the frame size is 1080 times 1350. I'm recording so you can see what I'm doing. And I will suggest choose a color background. I chose white because White is part of my uh, brand colors, so I chose that color. You can choose any color you want. You can choose black, blue, whatever. Okay, I have it, you can see it right now, here it is. Then you are gonna grab the one minute to one minute of the teaser that you chose. So you grab it and here it is, and you can see how clean and nice it looks. You see the 1080 times 1350, right? And you can see in the middle is your small YouTube teaser, correct? Here it is, that size. It's not that complete YouTube video, it's just that part, correct? Now, the other question that they ask me, what title should I put? I suggest you can put the title of your thumbnail, the same one, or you can put a phrase that you used, or you can put your name, it depends. I always suggest try to put the title of your thumbnail so it's connected to your uh, YouTube video as much as possible. So I put it right here, as you can see it. This was last week's video, and it says make better videos. That is the other step. Now, what other thing I suggest you do? You should put little signs that say new video, latest video, um, watch um, my latest video here on my YouTube channel. So I put latest YouTube video. If you can see it in my screen, here it is. Then I continued and I put something that says share, like, and connect. You, we can put subscribe to my channel, uh, like my video, whatever is good for you, whatever sounds better for you. There's many options you can go with. And finally, the your Instagram handle. In my case, I like yellow, and yellow is one of my brand colors. So I put my handle, Karina Belmonte, and the color in yellow. And guys, this is it. 
that's it nothing else so you are going to finish it export it and it's done so i'm going to show you how it looked here it is you see make better videos and latest youtube video i sh i share the first step i s put share like connect and there it is nothing complicated so if you are a mac user you can share this video that you did and export it through airdrop so the quality doesn't lower down if you're a pc user you can do it through dropbox and if you never had dropbox in your life you can just create an account it's free for the first gigabytes and then is immediately you can have it in your phone because if you create the app then you have it in your phone and the quality doesn't lower which is amazing like i said i try to create the steps for any type of program that you have imovie premiere pro final cut pro or final cut x i think this is a great way and it's very very simple so this is it guys no use of apps just editing programs and that's it but i know that some people get a little bit complicated with this and uh, they want a little bit more help. So I created some templates that will be very, very useful for you. So if you want to see more, you can just click the link below and you will watch the templates that I created for you guys. Well, let's go to the question. Brand, make it possible and keep sharing. Guys, if you want to have more about personal writing tips, content creation tips, editing tips, and design tips, all you got to do is hit the link below and you're going to have my free all-in guide. And I, first of all, I want to say thank you so much. And if you are new here, thank you. If you're regular, thank you also. So don't forget to subscribe right over there and we'll see each other next Tuesday. Bye. Thank you.